I know that you guys love true challenges and one of these is for sure Albania. Today I'm not only gonna try surviving as this nation, but at the same time we need to focus on the achievement Iberia or Albania and I'll try making this nation look actually easy for you so you can try replicating the achievement. Plus we are on our way to hit 100k subscribers Remember to leave a subscription to get notified about the future videos. This might seem to be a tough start, but this is gonna be so much fun. First things first, I will start building spine network on Serbia, as well as Herzegovina, because those two nations will be my first goals. Our estate setup is very standard for starting position of a duchy, where we need to look for our crown land. That's why I took power points from clergy and notability, on top of that better relations with Catholic nations, manpower opponents from the crown land ownership of the nobility, as well as supervisor of the crown and 1% loans. I will use one advisor which is military for the morale of armies, and that's why also on the nobility I will take a cheaper advisors, because for now we are not planning to boost this stability. Take the fleet and start hunting pirates in Ragusa, so not get raided. Now Skanderberg is a god tier ruler, he's 656, giving more of armies as well as improved relations. This is a dream ruler, he's 39, so we should keep him for some time and use him to our advantage, especially that he's also 555 general. To save some money before we start war with Serbia, I'll turn off my fort, because yeah, the situation with our budget is not the best, let me also stop paying for this army and turn off these transport ships by using these two for protecting of the trade. Now obviously, as always, alliances are semi-random in most of the cases, but usually Serbia is gonna ally Bosnia. Which might be a good thing to ask if they not ally anyone else, because when I declare on Serbia, I will call Bosnia as a co-belligent, so I'll be able to conquer both of those two nations at the same time. And you know, in exchange, Serbia decided that they're gonna guarantee me. Why would you do that? I'm trying to kill you, not get protected by you. We want to be time efficient, and soon I'll be able to make a claim on Serbia, so let me already recruit a free company. So this way we'll be having 9,000 troops, but still, this guy have 8, this guy have 6. Oof, that might not be enough. We need, at least for the start of the war, we need to build up two additional thousand of manpower troops. Now, claim Kosovo, wait one more month tick, so we'll be sure to have the full capacity and also I'm gonna take the mission for more of armies. Well, now we are kinda losing 5 ducats monthly, but believe me, this doesn't change anything because we are about to take over the gold mine in Kosovo. Declare the war, call Bosnia as a co belligerent and start occupying Kosovo at first. The strategy is to start getting the war goal and the war score and bait them into going into my beautiful mountains. At the same time, I'm gonna start improving relations with Austria because they're my only hope to go and crush Ottomans as soon as possible. Hungary just attacked Bosnia and Serbia did not accept call to arms, meaning I have to go right now with all in, focus on sieging and Bosnia before Hungary does so. Stability is gonna be something that will definitely take a care of. Because there's a mission for infantry compatibility and movement speed. For now I'll not take it, I'll leave it for bigger wars like Hungary or Ottomans. Here in this army I'm gonna get rid of Cav because it costs us one ducat monthly, that's too much. Then peace out Serbia, take all of the prisons from Bosnia we can and full money, that's 40 ducats, start coring all of these provinces, decrease first war exhaustion, start coring. It says that we're gonna go bankrupt because the amount of the loans that we can take decreased, but the size of the loans is gonna increase very shortly. So this is not a big problem and we also have 40 ducats of savings. Take Mildek ahead of time, that's additional innovativeness for us. And I can get rid of this advisor for now because we need to save money and also to get power projection over 50, let me simply go and scoop for insult Epirus. When I attacked Herzegovina, they also got attacked by Ragusa, which is a great opportunity for us because in general, Ragusa is guaranteed by the Ottomans, alive, the Papa states, so they're untouchable. Unless they do a stupid mistake, like he did over here. So this way, as that's a defensive war, I'm automatically in control. You can see that once I finish this war and Austria still like us, because of I guess expansion, we'll be able to make them our allies. Mr. Ottoman, you're gonna get partitioned. Let's state Kosovo as fast as possible to get 
some more money from the gold mine here i'm gonna actually concentrate same as for these provinces to just spend less power points on coring i could have done that earlier i know but it's fine and as soon as i finish war with ragusa i will decrease the atom over here to earn even more just in the meantime it doesn't mean i can't start deving it to already get a little bit more of money to fix this and i'm also getting ready to go and attack epirus because maybe i'm not gonna conquer them but i'm gonna go and do show strength on this nation and the moment i said that they're no longer a wide rival for us but we have the castle's belly until the end of the month when that happens see now my loan size is 41 and my total loans amount is 165 so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do one two three then i'm gonna repay all of the loans except those loans that i just took so you're left with only four loans and now to fix this situation, let me just take the 1% loans, repay the 4% loans, and we are left with only 1% loans while still having 48 of the ducats, and we are paying only 0.17 for the interest, so there's an actual positive balance. Let's go show strength 100 of each power point in our packet, and of course plenty of power projection. First, we need our best buddy Austria. I'm thinking if I should use them first to deal with Hungary, but then I saw my ghost expansion Catholics. Let's deal with the Ottomans. Austria right away called me into the war against Venice. That's interesting. <gasps> that might be a chance to at least get our core and maybe even something more. I was thinking about conquering Hungary, but it just became personal of Austria, which is not that bad news, because they're gonna help me with the Ottomans. I'm also improving my relations with Poland, because they absolutely love me, and they're also rivals of the Ottomans. Ah, we are in defense for, so Poland will already accept the alliance, and I can start building the favors. Yeah, this seems to be too hard of a war for us to win. We can save Ferrara. See, it's a minus 100% because Ferrara is fully occupied for 5 years and then do not have occupation of any province. So if I go to Zara, I go to occupation, I give it to Ferrara, it's minus 19. Situation fixed. Austria still has a chance to win with this slight disadvantage of the numbers. Screw you, Austria. At least give me you saying that I did not even get favors for this? Are you out of your freaking mind? Never mind, I don't need to build favors on my allies because we just got declared by the Ottomans. It's time to get some mercs. That's gonna be Hydux as well as Stratiori. This way we are gonna have 20,000 troops. With Skanderberg is gonna be of big help to defend from the Ottomans. Allies are already here. But I'm really afraid they are... Oh, there's so many of them. Okay, we need to push. Let's go and try fighting with the Ottoman stack in Dubrovniku, which is also called Ragusa by someone. That's gonna be risky. We're gonna attack them on the mountains, but we have better army quality and better leader and our allies are gonna reinforce us. So it's not even about really winning, but more about the war score. Look, this fort is not here in general. So this build the fort by themselves. That's something new and that's something that they promised us in this patch. I feel like we're gonna lose our numbers advantage if Ponzi Fluin and just keep doing that. Strategy for this war is not really complicated. I'm just allowing allies to attach and there will be always at least someone that will attach to us because there's so many armies of our allies that is just not really a big of a problem. My first guarantee form is gonna be obviously the tax meta <laughs> manpower. Also, to save actual money, I completely forgot I could do that. We need to take advantage of our vassal, because I can give them occupation of every single fort that I'm occupying. So this way, instead of spending six ducats monthly on them, I'm spending just two ducats on my own forts. Look at that, we bridged the walls in Constantinople, and as I have, yes, some allied troops. Let me just go and simply rush it, speed free, and something that you already know from my video from the LAMP party, just click on each stack, click K to consolidate, because consolidated regiments are assaulting the province more efficiently. So this way, hopefully we have enough troops. Yes, take Constantinople, and with Constantinople we have 97% of the war score, which is easy peace deal. Gonna take all of these provinces for ourselves, I'm gonna take war reparations, 
and just a little bit of the money because anyway we don't have that much of the war score so out of this 200 that gets only 50 goals to us send the peace deal and look at this albanian borders now to fix the money situation let me destroy this castle uh, destroy this castle then we're gonna get rid of the mercs so now we are actually having a positive balance and as i have 28 of the crownland I'll just sell titles, seize land to keep it over 20, and I will embrace the institution. Sick. That hit me the milk points cap. But instead of religious ideas, I actually decided to go after the quantity ideas. So number one, number two, almost number three. And with the rest of the money, I'll start repaying some of those loans. As yes, I'm anyway gonna face tons of the rebels in a second, I already started decreasing our following the promises to just maximize our income and the gains. Now we are quite unlucky because usually Naples just breaks free early in the game. It's 1463 and you are still a person you know, of Aragon. At least Aragon is still not in person you know, with Castile. There's no time to waste. Let's go like Venice, call Austria. We do have a number advantage, but you know how it is with Austria. Go for the reconquest and they want to clear the borders all around here. Did I say something about Austria? Yes, that's how they are running the war. We also having a lot of Advi mana thanks to our ruler, so use part of it on decreasing the inflation that we got so far. Just perfect borders. It's not an easy war, I just want to get out of it already because of the amount of the rebels that I have post Ottoman war. That gives me Lord of Albania mission, 200 mil points and most importantly all claims on all of these Ottoman provinces. Very useful in the next one is to drive Ottomans out of the Balkans. Why did Austria claim a throne? No god please no! No! Do you have my die? So they claim my throne by having a regency on the throne? Why? You're gonna be a Habsburg in a second. Oh my god, freaking Austria trolling us. You know what, Austria? Screw it, I'm just gonna ally France. As we stand to the Turks until 1468, there it goes. Diplomatic reputation, improved relations, and another mission which is inspire resistance. That's rebel support efficiency until the end of the game. And all the Balkan provinces of the Ottomans are gonna get 10 Andres, let's get ready for some rebels. Sell titles does this time 470 ducats and let's go and repay more, 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 more loans. So this way we have almost 10 of balance. You know what, Austria? You know what? Nobody cares about you. Can I just use the favors one last time? Yes, give me your money. Now nah, we need to find better allies. But I can see that. France has good relations with Castile, so we might try allying Castile as well. I just need to improve the relations. We are building one big hack box, which is gonna also include Castilians as we finally improve the relations. And this hack box is gonna have two goals take down Aragon and take down the Ottomans. It's an omen! Oh no! We have actually more options. That's it. I'm dead. Skanderberg finally died, which is unfortunate. He was like giving us a lot of power points, but he lived until 1473. And what's interesting, especially for Poles, we have Anna Gielonka on our from until Gier Castriotti gets to 15 years old. And it seems like Austria would like to re ally us. So let me take Royal Marriage and ally them. So now we have a big happy Albanian hackbox in Europe. We are still very well doing with our admin mana and being ahead, so let me decrease the inflation again and take it down to, let's say, 3. Oh yeah, yeah, Mr. Oster, I don't want to help you against Bohemia because you can win against them alone, but yeah, sure, let me use this to just send free company over there and get favors on you because we need 10 favors to call against Ottomans in just 2 years. Let's see, that gave us two favors but I'm just enough to get it to 10 so I'm gonna accept it. For the war against the Ottomans to have armies up to our force limit I'm also gonna go and recruit the Grand Company that's gonna be 33,000 of troops. And honestly as I'm gonna have rebels all over the Greece anyway let me go and decrease the autonomy in these provinces. Ah, my favorite Poland and Austria is always willing to help us and honestly I will not even go for conquest I'll go for the holy war because we have a crusade against the Ottomans. So this crusade in a month is gonna give us ooh, our fleet being killed 
You stay here, don't move anywhere. There we go. Tax meta, morale of armies, national manpower, yearly prestige, papal influence. And honestly, with papal influence, that we get even more morale of an army. So right now we have 4.3. In response, Ottomans decided to take mil tech 7. That's gonna be a tough war. I can also pick up... Mm, I think it's too ahead of time. Let's wait until next January. In the meantime, I can just decrease my inflation. I've built some galleys between the wars. So I think that's a moment to actually go and... What is the naval morale? Why is this three points too? We were mainly fighting with the transport ships, so this battle was fairly easy. And that's why I'm gonna go farther and get the bonus from blockading these ports. Okay, let's unlock second idea group, which is gonna be something from admin, considering our amount of admin mana. But honestly, I'll go with admin in order to get the beautiful core creation cost. One, two, four is not the best error I've ever saw. I'm gonna kill him the moment we finish the war of the Ottomans. My Beasel of the Ottomans is not the best in the world in terms of design, but I cut them off from the provinces in Bulgaria. So this way, I'm planning to get the rebels over here, especially if I support them with my bonuses and get these provinces in a separate war against Bulgaria. Easy peasy. Ottomans won't be able to defend from this. Why well, in the meantime I claimed Kandar because I get the border over here and I'm gonna start expanding towards Emirati on which I should start building the spy network. Ottomans still feel strong enough to attack the Mamluks. That did not lose an alliance in this campaign uh, yet. This is just impossible. They even win this war against the Mamluks. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move. Mr. Karaman, you're gonna be forever disloyal, but I'm gonna make them my vassal. And let's take full money. This way, we have a vassal with all of the scores against the Ottomans in the next war. Why for the Kandar? I'm just gonna take their province, Tsik, which allows me to make a claim on the Emirati as soon as I get enough spy network. Now, we got the Bulgarian separatists in Burgas. And I will let them go and look up my provinces in the Ottoman Empire. And for a second time, Austria is destroying the whole plan. They're gonna kill these rebels. I had to give this province to them because they were having this occupied. And now they just... Rebels not only chose provinces of Austria instead of Ottoman provinces, but also Austria decided to pacify this stack right away. You know what, let's not waste our time. I'm gonna attack Naples to get into Italy. Let me call Austria and Papal State to help us. Conquest of Emirati granted us status of great power number 7. I really love our diplomatic map mode. It's a grand coalition against Aragon and Naples and Venice that is helping them. Well, I guess France is leaving our high box. I'll try somehow managing to get them back. Look guys, the last 10 of Albanians attacking on the mountains. But look, the winged Poles and Lithuanians arrived. Let me try piecing out Venice finally out of this war. I would like to take Corfu and Negropont, but we need slightly more war score for that. I was wondering why there's no IBM wedding yet, and then I saw that Juan de Jasmine Tamara is 83 years old. Okay boys, I'm taking all of Solf and Italy, Bellarts, because this is part of Iberia that we'll need for the achievement, and full money. Send the peace deal. That's how Albania is looking like. Start coring the provinces. Oh, 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 that's actually a lot to core. We paid the less of the rounds so we don't have any more debt. And we are good to finish today's episode because this is just the beginning. It's 1489. I think we did well for this amount of the time. Could be better, could be worse. Anyway, if you'd like me to continue this series, which I would love to do, remember to hit like on this video because if you hit 3000 likes, another video is coming. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel to get notified about these next episodes. And I'll see you very soon.